In the fourth problem, it says that we have a staircase like this. And a particle is projected at from this point horizontally with a velocity given by 2.5 meter per second. Right. So particle is projected from here. Now in the question we are asked to find the number of stairs the particle covers before it reaches the ground. So the particle will follow a path like this. And we are asked to find the number of steps, this is first step, second, how many steps the particle covers before it lands up here on some stair. Right? So this is this is what we are asked to find. The the width of the stair is given as W, just point one meter in this case. And the height of each stair is also given as 0.1 meter forms. Now, let this point be origin. Okay. Let, okay. So this is what we have asked to find out. We have asked to find out the number of stairs n which the particle covers before it lands up on the ground. So, to solve this, let us assume this point to be a point to be the origin. And let this be the x y coordinate. This be the x coordinate. This will be the positive y coordinate. Now, as you can see that from this point, I move point one meter from again point meter. So the the coordinate of this point is what the coordinate of this point is. Point one comma one minus uh, the x coordinate is point one. The y coordinate is minus 0.1. Similarly, again, if we traverse this stair, the x coordinate becomes 0.2. The y coordinate becomes minus 0.2. So, if I join this line, right? The equations of the equation of this line will be what? It will be y equals to minus x, right? Hmm? Okay. And what is the equation of motion of the particle? The equation of motion of the particle is given by y equals to x tan theta minus g by 2 x square by u square cos square theta, right? So, as you can see, the at the the point at which this parabola and this straight line meets, after that the particles lands up on the on one of the stairs. So, I need to find out the coordinate of this position the x coordinate of this position if i if i then divide by the width of its stair i'll get the number of stairs covered by the particle okay so first of all let us find out the point of intersection of this parabola and the straight line since the particle is projected horizontally theta and the theta is zero so y is nothing but g by 2 x square by 2 u square this is equal to minus x, right? Or x is equal to 2 u square by g. Now u in this case is 2.5, so u square is 6.25. So 6.25 by into 2 by g, so this is 5. That is equal to 1.25. So the number of this is the horizontal displacement of the particle. So the number of stairs covered is 1.25 divided by the width of each stair, which is 0 0.1 in this case. So that will be equal to 12.5, or approximately, it will cover 13 steps. Okay. Now, let's move on to the last problem before we start discussing on projectile projected from an inclined plane.
the last problem that is the fifth problem is as follows it's given that we have a trench like this right the height of the trench is a and this length is the particle is here this length is also a the particle is projected from here at 45 degrees with some velocity u the particle just touches this point this point and then falls here this is the path followed by the particle so we are asked to again find the range of the particle right so forget this part solve the problem first forget this part in this part we know that the range is a which is equal to this this if we, if we consider just this part this is similar to a particle projected on some horizontal surface and it lands up on the same surface so the range is given by u square sin 2 theta by g since theta is 45 degrees 2 theta is 90 degree and this part becomes 1 so u square is ag or u is root of ag this is the first condition of the case now the other equation which we will be using is the equation of trajectory of the particle which is x y equal to x tan theta minus g by 2 x square by u square cos square theta now since we have we are taking g minus g so we have assumed the upward direction to be positive and this direction to be positive so when the particle reaches here the displacement of the particle in the vertical direction is minus a right and this is what this is range is r tan 45 is 1 minus g by 2 okay into x square is r square by u square is ag cos square 45 cos square 45 will be half this gets cancelled and from here g also get cancelled gets cancelled so i get minus a minus r plus r square by a equals to 0 or r square minus ar minus a square equals to 0 from this i can solve r as a plus minus Square plus four a square by two, or it will be equal to a plus minus root five a by two. So we'll take the positive value, which is equal to root five times a. So this is the range of the part. So this was all about projectile motion. where the particle was projected from certain height now let's move on to the case in which we have an inclined plane which we have an inclined plane and the particle is projected from this like this so since we have an inclined plane the particle can't cover the four whole path and land up on the same horizontal surface it will land up somewhere here so we will we'll, we'll be finding out what distance it has covered on the inclined plane what is the time of flight and all those cases when we will discuss the projectile motion where the particle is projected from some inclined plane